My name is Corporal Chris Varga. Um, I enlisted in 2004 into the Lawrence Scots. I always had an interest in the military, uh, like ever since I was a kid, reading history books and, and watching war movies. And uh, I guess the war movies kind of put a visual to, to what I was reading in the history books. And uh, I kind of always admired them, you know, reading about the challenges that these guys took up took on themselves and, and like overcame them. It would seem impossible and they, and they did it, so they kind of inspired me and I wanted to be like them, so I joined the military. Remembrance Day for me is probably the most important day of the year. I think in a way, every day is kind of like a, a smaller Remembrance Day in my own way. I think about, uh, I think about my friends, I think about you know, my time in Afghanistan. I think about other wars and kind of imagine what those guys went through and the hardships that they they took on, and uh, you know not a day that passes that I don't think about them. But Remembrance Day itself is is a much bigger thing I think. Together as like a community, like everybody gets together and and remembers. I feel grief like during Remembrance Day, kind of thinking like of all the suffering that took place and all the families that were that have been torn from war like over all the years and all the people that have been torn. Uh, either losing their lives or losing losing limbs um, is a is a time to celebrate as well to to celebrate the soldiers' lives that that died uh, to celebrate the ones that are alive um, and to celebrate kind of the challenges we can take on you know as a military as a country and like uh, they would seem impossible and you know we're still able to do it and and um, I think it's definitely a time of celebration as well. I don't think there's an easy way to explain, you know, my service and Remembrance Day and, and war to a child. I guess you just have to be blunt and just say kind of that a lot of people have suffered to give her the life that she has and, and give us the place that we live in. Like reinforce that she needs to be thankful for, for those people, right? Um, and sympathize with, with all their hardships, right? Sympathize with the, you know, the broken families and you know, soldiers who have turned to alcohol to, to deal with their problems and families that are torn from it. You know, lives that are lost, fathers and brothers and mothers and sisters lost. Um, and just be grateful that people like that exist and, you know, and sacrifice all that for, for what we have, right? And, uh, and just make sure that they're thankful and grateful for it. The... Uh, the amount of work was was difficult. Like, uh, I don't think we had a day off for for five months straight. It was just like night and day, eighteen hour days. So that that was like you know taxing on on me physically and like mentally, right? Like not having a, any downtime really, not being able to see my family and my friends, and then knowing that all sorts of stuff was going on back home and you you know you're not a part of it. That's mostly you know what was a difficult part. Also like you know the dealing with the fear. And then watching yourself become accustomed to the fear and almost like desensitized to it and, uh, was kind of like a weird experience. We had an area that was cordoned off and these five Afghan women uh, had walked by and to kind of show that they felt safe uh, like from the Taliban, they, they unveiled their faces and they, they walked by and they waved. And, um, for me, that meant a lot because really to our job there was to keep that area safe so that children could go to school and people can do their jobs and, and like live their lives and raise their families and work. So them doing that really showed us that we were doing our job and that they didn't have any fear of the Taliban. I think it's probably the most proudest moment in my life. They should be grateful for the place that we live in, right? And, you know, look back to older wars and remember their contribution and, and what they did as a country to give us what we have now. And then also remember that, uh, like, the threat continues, right? There's still threats in the world. Uh, there's still soldiers fighting all over the world. And uh, to continue to remember them as well and think about their families 
their young families that, that are around right now and, um, and to sympathize with them. To think of all the soldiers throughout history and to you know, give a little thanks, to celebrate them and to, and to, to feel for whatever hard, hardships they've gone through basically because they've done it for these young people so that they can live, right? And, and also to hopefully become like they are and, uh, and continue to do the same job, right? And, and keep, uh, keep our country as good as it is.